In this video, we're going to be replacing the brake shoes on a Freelander Cascadia. This works on most of the uh, semi trucks. So, before you start to do the job, make sure you chuck your wheels uh, just to be safe and uh, release your brakes on the cap. But before you release it, make sure the, the air tanks are full. So, once you release your air brakes, remove the tires we already removed them so now you want to remove your drum but uh, most likely it will not come off uh, due to corrosion so we're going to be hitting the drum using this uh, hammer uh, when you hit it uh, you want to hit the sides of the drum right there or the back just don't make sure you don't hit the middle uh, you don't want to damage your drum So that one did come off. Uh, in case your uh, drum doesn't want to come off, um, you might uh, you, you're gonna have to unloosen your your slack adjuster. Uh, we're gonna be using this uh, wrench. That's the model number. I'll leave the uh, a link in the description in case you want to buy one. You can also use this one to adjust your slack adjusters your brakes so we're gonna loosen the slack adjuster as you can see that one is long so it'll make it easier so now the uh, drum is released it's a little heavy uh, but it does come off so now we're going to be removing the, the brake shoes. So you're going to need uh, some vice grips and a flathead screwdriver or a ply bar to remove this uh, two springs. So this is the way we do it. We put the, we put the, the vice grips on the spring and pull it down with the screwdriver. We're going to do the back one so you can get another. So that one is released. All you got to do now is uh, remove the, the brake shoes. And those are off. So now we're gonna bring in the new brake shoes. Uh, before you put them in, back in, make sure you clean all the area. So now we're gonna put in the new brakes. We have them right here. This is how they come in the box. You have to insert this pin back into the brake. They go into this hole right here. So you're gonna need a, a hammer. So you hold down the, the pin and just insert it like that. So you can see right there it's clipped in. So you, have, you gotta do the same thing to the other side. So you hold it like that. That one is into so now you have to uh, put this clip into this uh, piece right here and you have two of them so that one is clipped in and you do the same thing to the other side so those two are in place so you put this uh, spring into both of the clips. So those are ready to be put in. So now we're gonna 
put this new ones. We're gonna take those out and put these new ones. So these barrels right here didn't want to come out so we're going to use this torch to see if we can get it out. So this one didn't want to come out easy so we're going to have to grind it off. So now we're going to use this air, air hammer to get it out. So there it came out. So if you don't have to take them off, if they're too stuck and they still look good, it's up to you if you want to change them. But uh, in this case we did. took off the two barrels right here but uh we, we're not gonna change those uh bushings uh we're just gonna keep the, the old ones it's up to you if you want to change the other ones so we're just gonna put this new ones so now everything's ready for the new break so in this s cams uh if you want to check the if it doesn't have any play like this ones it doesn't move it at all so they're pretty good conditions and also if you want to grease them it's from here uh, just so you can have them all greased up so you just bring in the brakes like this you sit them on this barrel and as you can see down here it's it's sat on the s-cam already so that one is ready. Now we gotta do this, the bottom one. I'm gonna bring in, push down the, so we can align this to this place right here. So the brakes are in place now. Now we gotta put in the the new two clips, uh, two springs. So you just put them in the the hole right here. This this hole and this hole. So you bring the one down. So now you're gonna need some vice grips. So you grab it from here. You're gonna need a flathead a screwdriver or a bar, a pry, a pry bar. So you grab it from here and you bring it down and get it into the hole. So that one is clipped now. You gotta do it, same thing on the, on the back one. So now the brakes are in. Uh, now I'm gonna bring in the, the drum. So in case the, the brakes don't go in, you might have to move your slack brake adjuster uh, so you can close down the, the brakes more. And also so that the drum could fit so I'm gonna try to bring it in, and if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to close down the, the brakes. So 
So there it goes. It's in. So everything's done now. Now all I have to do is put in the tire and adjust the the brakes on the adjuster. So that's it. Thanks for watching.